Welcome to part two of the dangerous situations hunters face when facing the most dangerous animals in the world. This video will show you what to do to have a successful hunt. When hunting buffalo, hunters need to remain calm and patient. In addition, hunters should avoid hunting in areas where visibility is obscured by dense vegetation as this can increase the risk of being attacked by a surprise attack. Tanzania in particular has the highest number of hunters attacked by buffalo in the world. This brown bear was about two to three times the size of the two hunters, weighing about 1,500 pounds. For bear hunters to hunt bears, the distance is 50 yards, so standing any closer could violate the permit. To effectively hunt elk, you should avoid areas with dense vegetation as this can make it difficult to aim and approach them. <laughs> Additionally, use high ground to observe and keep quiet. Good. South Africa's hunting license stipulates that hunters should hunt in groups of three or more to ensure safety. If this moment is not dealt with promptly, an unwanted situation will occur when a buffalo attacks. A hunter was faced with a situation when he was attacked by a 2,000 pounds buffalo. This situation emphasized that hunters must have skills in buffalo behavior to ensure safety when participating in hunting and handle it promptly.
Hawaiian hunting began in East Africa in the 1800s and ended in 1977 due to wildlife conservation policies designed to protect them from extinction. Lion hunting requires hunters to be between the ages of 25 and 50 when facing the world's most dangerous animal. When filming rhinos, you should keep a safe distance and avoid doing anything to attract their attention. Lovely stuff. In this case, when the rhino spotted him, the man made a loud noise by hitting the car causing it to run away. According to the African Wildlife Conservation Society, there are about 50 to 215 cases of tourists being attacked by rhinos each year. Hey. Hey. Tourists must follow instructions, keep a safe distance from rhinos, and do not do anything to attract attention or disturb them to avoid risks. Here a group of tourists in a car approached a tiger to take pictures of it. At first, everything went well as the tourists kept their distance and the tiger showed no signs of aggression. After a few moments, the animal started to come closer and things quickly turned ugly when it suddenly charged. But the car moved quickly and no one was attacked. During an 11 day hunting trip on Kodiak Island, a hunter faces a daunting challenge in his search for the largest land predator. The hunter's dream of capturing a brown bear becomes a reality when their bow and arrow hit their prey. When threatened, an elephant can reach speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. But that's no match for an all-terrain vehicle traveling at 40 miles per hour. That's why a group of hunters were lucky to escape after being chased by it for 200 yards. At this moment, the hunter was trying to grab the antlers of the deer worth 100 to 300 USD an action that could have caused him to be attacked at any moment. Luckily, this deer was still young and did not attack the hunter.
A hunter with two to three years of experience will advise you that in a situation where a wildcat is only one yard away from you, the most important thing is not to move. Any movement can make the wildcat feel threatened and this can lead to you being attacked or injured and it will run away. The hunter thought the buck was lying down but suddenly it jumped up causing panic. In the chaos, the hunter acted quickly and brought it down. It is best to determine that the prey cannot move anymore before approaching. The dogs drove the wild boar into the hunting area, giving the hunter a chance to take it down. The safest shooting distance required by the license is 50 feet. However, in this situation, everything that happened was beyond the hunter's expectations. According to statistics, there are about 2,000 buffalo hunts in South Africa each year and well-trained hunters can save up to 40% of hunting time compared to untrained ones. Cows become aggressive when protecting their calves. In this case, the man was fortunately not injured. It is dangerous to approach animals without understanding their behavior and should not act like the one in the video. If you encounter a mountain lion attack, Back away slowly and remain calm so as not to provoke the animal. Use protective gear to protect yourself, but always prioritize avoiding direct conflict. A moose suddenly appeared and threatened the hunter showing its strength and protecting its territory. The hunter kept his cool and showed his experience well. For hunting wild animals, hunters need to clearly understand the regulations in the license to ensure safety. The most impressive moment is the moment number. Please leave a comment below. Especially if you are looking forward to many new moments about wild animals, please share. Click the channel subscription button to wait for part 3. Please continue watching the video.
The explosion of wild boar populations in Texas has prompted authorities to take immediate action to control the situation. One of the most effective solutions implemented is the Texas Hog Hunt Championship. This event attracts the participation of more than 3,500 hunters from all over the United States and is an indispensable part of the local hunting culture. Wild boar hunting is held annually in two main seasons winter from December to February and summer from June to August. Each hunting season lasts about two weeks, allowing hunters time to prepare the necessary skills for hunting. During 24 hours of hunting, hunters are allowed to shoot a maximum of 50 to 150 wild boars. To ensure effective control of the wild boar population and maintain the sustainability of the ecosystem to avoid overhunting. In the Texas Hog Hunt Championship, hunters under the age of 18 are not allowed to participate according to the provisions of the Youth Hunter License. The health requirements for hunters are very strict, with a vision requirement of 20 slash 20 or corrected with eyeglasses if necessary, to ensure safety during hunting. This competition attracted the participation of many top professional hunters in the field of wild boar hunting, adding to the appeal and prestige of this event. Texas authorities hunt wild boars primarily in large forests and agricultural areas such as those near Houston, Austin and Dallas. These locations were chosen because they have the highest wild boar densities 
and are also the areas most affected by their infestation. According to surveys, hunters encounter a herd of 10 to 15 wild boars on a single hunt, with the heaviest hog in the herd weighing up to 450 pounds. without effective control. The wild boar population could double each year due to their rapid reproduction rate, with each female giving birth to 12 to 20 calves per year. But the permit also explicitly states that hunters are not allowed to hunt pregnant or young wild boars for humane purposes. the Remington 700 Specialized Rifle. This rifle is characterized by a high accuracy and great shooting power, allowing hunters to approach wild boars from a maximum distance of up to 300 yards. The Remington 700 is favoured for its long-range accuracy and durability in various hunting conditions. In competition, the best hunter is to knock down 200 wild boars in a hunting season. To achieve success in the annual wild boar hunt, hunters undergo a rigorous training process lasting from 6 to 12 months. This process helps them understand the behaviour of wild boars, thereby meaning humane hunting methods. team support and tactical coordination are key factors in each hunt, helping to improve performance and achieve the best results. At the end of each hunting season, 
Participating hunters are required to report the number of wild boars they have knocked down. This is an important part of the process, ensuring transparency and efficiency in managing the wild population. The Texas Hog Hunt Championship will award a $10,000 prize to the hunter who achieves the largest number of wild boars during the season. This award not only honours outstanding performance, but also encourages hunters to continue their efforts in controlling and managing the population. Comment on the scene at what minute you think is the most exciting in the wild boar hunting competition. Click the subscribe button to watch the latest videos about hunting activities in the US. Leave the number one if you have shared this video. Please watch the next video. These approaches have been great at stopping the spread of some invasive species. Got any ideas for even better solutions? Drop your thoughts in the comments so we can all dive into it together. Thanks for sticking around and watching the whole video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And hey, be sure to tell your friends about us too so they can check it out. Bye and see you in the next video.